Now to a Fox 5 News alert. The Fulton County District Attorney is speaking out following today's indictment of a man on human trafficking charges. The grand jury's decision comes just one day after a judge threw out those very same charges against Kendrick Roberts. He's the man accused of holding eight women against their will. Fox 5's Patty Pan just stepped out of the District Attorney's news conference. Patty, what did he have to say? Well, not only did this grand jury indict Roberts on all of the trafficking charges he was originally facing, they actually added an additional count, participation in criminal street gang activity. And as you said, this comes one day after a judge dismissed 11 of the 14 original counts. So this is a pretty big development in this case. In a shocking turn of events, a Fulton County grand jury indicted Kendrick Roberts on 15 counts Friday morning. Six counts of trafficking a person for labor servitude, six counts of false imprisonment, two counts of possession of a firearm, and an additional count from the original charges, participation in criminal street gang activity. This comes one day after a judge dismissed all the trafficking charges, among others, against Roberts. Authorities arrested the 33-year-old man in early March after receiving a 911 call from from a woman saying her boss threatened to kill her if she left. Later, authorities say they learned Roberts forced the women to dance at local strip clubs and the money would go to him. Now, we did just wrap up a press conference with Fulton County District Attorney Paul Howard, who told us that uh, he called what the magistrate judge's decision uh, was yesterday, he called it distressing. And when we asked him uh, whether this case, if they pushed this along because of her decision, he said while this case was already on the docket for the grand jury, that her decision did, in fact, push this case along. Now, in addition to indicting Roberts on the 15 counts, the grand jury also issued a no-bond warrant, which actually means it over rules that magistrate uh, judge's decision yesterday giving him bond. Now, if convicted, Roberts could face up to 205 years behind bars. I do also want to mention we reached out to Roberts' attorney earlier today, and we have yet to hear back. We will, of course, have more in this story tonight at 6. That is the latest outside the Fulton County Courthouse. I'm Patty Pan, Fox 5 News. All right, Patty, this story just continues to unfold. Thank you so much. <laughs>